Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to remind you we have an amazing giveaway going on right now for two Nintendo Switch Zelda OLEDs, two collector copies of Tears of the Kingdom, and a replica Hylian Shield. This is a Prime Gaming Fest kickoff giveaway. More details on Prime Gaming Fest to come, but you can enter that giveaway already down in the pinned comment or the description. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Now, guys, we have a lot to talk about today about Tears of the Kingdom. And it's not because I want to detract from you guys playing the game. Absolutely play the game, have fun, do what you need to do. But this was maybe somewhat predictable with all the $70 DLC uh, monikers out there before the game came out that I think most of us at this point can safely say was a bunch of BS. I've even had some pop up in my live stream where someone called it $30 DLC. I, I really don't know what people are expecting when the game is as big as it is. But what's happened to Tears of the Kingdom is it's being review bombed on Metacritic. Uh, it still holds a 96 on Metacritic. It's clearly not going to move off that 96 either way. That's good. 96 is really good. It's not quite as high as Breath of the Wild, but we're not here to talk about that because you know what? There's more reviewers today than there was even six years ago. So let's talk about these review bombings because it has an 8.5 rating by the users. And you might go, well, that doesn't sound like a review bombing. Well, got to remember that this game has a lot of fans. Zelda fans are very passionate. So there's a ton of inflated 10 out of 10s out there from people that basically might not have even played the game. So it is being saved a little bit by that. But still, 8.5 compared to a 9.6 is a big user score drop off. And why is that? Well, taking a look at some of these 0 out of 10 uh, comments, holy crud. Uh, this is crazy. First off, we have a guy claiming he worked on the game, giving it a 0. Aaron Schiffer here saying, please check the credits of each game I worked on as a graphics designer for Breath of the Wild and 3D audio locations and designs for Tears of the Kingdom. The way the company handled this title is very disgraceful. There were many days at the office where we were told to reuse as much as we could from Breath of the Wild. A large portion of our staff was let go because there were so many reused assets. There were almost no need for the team that large to work on Tears of the Kingdom. I cannot put my name behind the project that was so clearly driven by greed and shame. Our players deserve a much better sequel than all of the reused assets shoved into the same engines we previously used for Breath of the Wild. This company has fallen a long way and is part of the development team that actually cared and put forth a lot of effort. I'm asking you to stay away from buying this game, please. We cannot teach them that they could charge full price for a bundle of reused assets and then fire all the people that originally made the assets so they see no fruits of their labor. If they are allowed to get away with this, just imagine how poorly the next game will be made. Even the next growing up on Zelda, I just can't help think what I helped add to this horrible mishmash of reused assets and stolen hard work. You know what's really funny about this comment, outside of the fact it's clearly not someone who works at Nintendo? The, the English is really well for a Japanese development studio. They also didn't fire anyone, and they can't steal their own work. It's not, it, Using the word steal is so stupid. Nintendo owns the work. You, you're not stealing your own assets. That, that's like saying, hey, man, we reused a texture in a Mario game. Man, we stole from ourselves. Like... The, the people who work at the company don't own the assets, and the people who work there know they don't own the assets. They're being directed by the game directors to create those assets for the game, and the company that owns the game then owns the assets. So it's really stupid that this person's pretending that they actually worked at Nintendo or on the development team, and they fired everyone, and they had nothing. This is someone who basically hasn't played the game. That's just... Say what it is, they haven't played the game. Next up, we have a 0 out of 10 from KTWM1 saying, why don't, why don't you buy this game? It's more uncomfortable than any previous Zelda. Everyone, don't play it. Believe me, it's better to play Picnic. I mean, what are we what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> we have Xbox Super Brain 2. You know, this one's going to be a good one. It's not a good game. It reminds me of the mid-90s. The game's found on the bottom of every Kellogg's box. I mean... This is getting this is getting pretty pretty ridiculous. So here's one from M F M M M F F R U M E U. Six years to copy and paste Breath of the Wild. O M G. Nintendo just destroyed my illusions. The first two hours of the game are exactly the same as Breath of the Wild, but the same same story, same steps, even the snow part and the tedious cooking. It's a direct sequel. I, I just. And it's not exactly the same. The story is not even remotely close to the same. Uh, Hyrule is, again, the same map. 
So it changes from, I'm going to enjoy discovering the map of Hyrule to, oh my gosh, the, again, the same map and this tedious tower mechanisms to unveil the map. It's not that tedious, but okay. The weapons. In Breath of the Wild, there are some very nice weapons. Here you have to craft every stupid weapon with rocks and other things. They ruin the weapon scheme. I mean, you can make some pretty sick weapons. I'm, I'm, I'm about 20 hours or close to 20 hours in. You can make some sick weapons. Uh, I've been playing for 10 hours. I don't know if I want to play anymore. Just to walk for hours in the same scenarios. Mountains, lakes. How about the sky islands and the underground? My, my guy, you can choose your own adventure. Anyways. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's a zero out of 10 from RXTRO FX, F, FSXV. Genuinely overrated. Just because it's a Zelda game doesn't mean it's good. Not in the slightest. I'm going to list three things wrong with it. One, it's too expensive. This is a Switch game. It should be $40 max, so... Now we're just devaluing Switch games in general. Basically a reskin of Breath of the Wild, which I hate it more than any other game ever. Therefore, I hate this more. Lack of content. So let me get this right. You spent $70 that you don't think uh, on a game that shouldn't be, you know, in your mind, more than $40. You already hated the prior game, so you knew you would hate this game. And now you want to talk about the lack of content. You either are lying that you didn't play the game, or you're contradicting yourself because you did buy the game, even though you knew you would hate it and knew for you it was overpriced, right? So this doesn't really make that much sense. But anyway, it says lack content. These Nintendo Glazing fanboys automatically think a new Zelda game is the best thing ever made. No, this is the worst thing I've touched since a adult. I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> Here's a zero out of 10 from RPX. It says, why is Nintendo doing this? Every Zelda game has been different from one another. And even when it wasn't like Ocarina of Time or George Mass, it's still so different. I didn't care. This is the exact same game as Breath of the Wild. The same map, the same comments. Still no dungeons, but four more Divine Beasts, but called different. Which, by the way, the developers call the Divine Beast dungeon. It, it's neither here nor there. People are wanting this game to be something that it's not. That That's, that's one of the big... Uh, bugaboos about some of this criticism the building mechanic is super clunky and frustrating as well i will say the building mechanic is actually really really good but there's a learning curve once you get past the learning curve it just makes sense but you have to get past that learning curve and it, there's not really much the game can do to get you past the learning curve you just have to use it more uh, i now completely understand how to rotate items it's, it's really not hard but at first, yeah, sure, it felt a little clunky because I, I didn't know what I was doing. This is a new mechanic, right? Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, to charge $70, which is what 4K AAA games cost, and this game runs barely at 30 FPS and 720p, is completely greedy and ridiculous. Or you could be Redfall, who's also charging $70, reviewed very poorly, is also running at 30 FPS, by the way. Anyways. Let's just ignore what everyone else is doing and just pile on Zelda because it's Zelda. Uh, anyways, this is DLC for Breath of the Wild, except I loved Breath of the Wild because it was new and refreshing. It wasn't anything like I've played before. I spent over 100 hours in that game, which it's ironic when someone says I loved Breath of the Wild, but then you only spent over 100 hours. There is so much to do in that game. You could easily spend several hundred hours. So like 100, it's like, okay, you did like a playthrough. You did a single playthrough. Congratulations. Uh, anyways, by the way, a hundred hours is still a lot of time to spend on, on any video game to be clear, but it's just in the context of this person acting like they loved breath of the wild so much. It's kind of like, eh, okay. Um, playing this after spending $70 feels like I got scammed. All you guys giving tens. I can't wait till the next Zelda release. It will be AGN be copy pasted again. I think he's trying to say we copy paste and you guys will be at fault for buying it. This is Zelda now ripped to my favorite franchise. Maybe next time it'll be a hundred dollars and run at 15 FPS. Like just, just ridiculous. Uh, here's what, here's another zero out of 10 from Brad underscore the underscore Don. It says extremely glorified DLC. Next gen price, but not a next gen game. It's literally an old gen console, and yet they still want 10 bucks more for bad performance. The story doesn't even make sense. It's just there for the sake of making a new game. Sorry, DLC. The controls suck. The combat is lame. Nintendo fans eat everything up. It's 2023. A game like this shouldn't be acceptable, especially not for this price. And I think what I find most ridiculous about a lot of these comments is you could pretty much just copy paste this and throw this at every AAA game that releases from any company it's impossible to please everyone i understand but it also sometimes becomes popular to hate on things to hate on things and that's sort of what we're seeing with this review bombing and how ridiculous it's getting 
is that there are people out there that just want to hate on Zelda because it's Zelda and it's scoring better than their favorite game. And they think their favorite game deserves to be significantly ahead of whatever this game is being rated. Or they think Tears of the Kingdom was not supposed to be similar to Breath of the Wild because, you know, why would direct sequels actually be similar? And was supposed to completely retcon everything and go all the way back to being a classic game like A Twilight Princess. I think in the end... This game is obviously brilliant. I'm not going to get into my first impressions just yet. We'll see uh, if I decide to make a video on that. I, th I might have missed the boat on doing something like that, but we'll see. But what I am very frustrated about is just the, the all these review bombs. By the way, the review bombing doesn't affect your ability to enjoy the game, of course. Some of these review bombing is actually hilarious. There's some in there that just doesn't, <laughs> just doesn't, yeah, it just don't make sense. Um, like, like this one zero to 10 from ER Sonic that says it's a full copy paste of the first game. They only change the powers of Link. Otherwise it's the same game. Like, <laughs> tell me you didn't play the game without playing the game, right? It anyways, guys, I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Brown. Let me know what you think about the review bombing, this ridiculous review bombing down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.